Today, we'll be discussing light phenomena that we observe in nature, specifically rainbows. What causes these phenomena and can they be explained scientifically? The answer, of course, is yes. As seemingly complex as light phenomena may appear to be, most of them can be explained by one of two very simple concepts, refraction and diffraction. Most of us are probably familiar with the triangular prism. The prism operates on the same principle by which rainbows are formed, that is, refraction. Refraction occurs when light transfers from one medium to another medium with a different density, which causes the light to bend. Different wavelengths of light bend at different ang angles, which is why we see an array of colors exiting the prism. Rainbows are formed in a very similar way. In rainbows, individual drops of water act as the prism. Light enters the water and reflects off the back of the drop back into our eyes. When the light first enters the drop, it is dif diffracted. By the time the light exits the water drop, it is diffracted into an array of colors, with red, being the least diffracted, exiting on the bottom, and purple, the most diffracted, exiting at the top. Your next question might well be, why then are rainbows purple on the bottom and red on top? Although this may seem perplexing, the answer, once again, is quite simple. Your eyes only see one color from each drop of water. The water drops which are lowest in the sky reflect purple to your eye, exiting the drop on top. Water drops that are higher in the sky reflect red to your eye, exiting the drop on bottom. Because the red is reflecting off of drops that are higher in the sky, red appears to be on the top of the rainbow. Other colors reflect off of drops in the middle to fill in the rest of the rainbow color scheme. There are many other interesting light phenomena that we can observe in nature, including double rainbows, halos and coronas, sun dogs and sun pillars, green flash, mirages, aurora borealis, and much, much more, including my personal favorite, cloud iridescence. Based on what we've learned so far about rainbows, how do you think double rainbows occur? Why do you think the secondary bow is so much fainter and has its colors reversed? If the topic interests you, take it a step further. Who knows? Maybe your newfound knowledge of light phenomena will lead you to discover awesome futuristic weapons.